the most incredible prison break stories. Parkhurst Prison. In 1995, three prisoners named Andrew Roger, Keith Rose, and Matthew Williams escaped from the Parkhurst Prison through extraordinary means. They managed to make a 25-foot steel ladder as well as a gun in the prison's metal shop. Finally, they were able to craft a skeleton key just from photographic memory. In short, the three prisoners were able to walk out of the prison using the key that they made and scaling the walls with the ladder. They were captured four days after their escape before they could get onto a plane and fly to freedom while piloted by Keith Rose. Frank Abagnale Frank Abagnale's story was immortalized in the movie Catch Me If You Can, starring Leonardo DiCaprio as Abagnale. After he was sent to prison for his forgery activities, his papers didn't make it with him to the detention center, giving Abagnale the upper hand. He managed to convince the guards that he was a spy from the government, but he was granted extra privileges and even got a friend outside of prison to pose as the FBI. All of these tricks made it possible for Abagnale to literally walk out of prison. Choi Gapbach Choi Gapbach escaped from prison by slipping through the food slot, which was typically about 6 inches high and 17 inches long. How did this 50-year-old man accomplish this? Apparently he practiced yoga throughout the years, and he had spent a lot of time in and out of prison. He asked the guards for a special ointment and performed his escape after the guards turned in for the night. He was caught six days later and placed in a cell with a much smaller food slot. Pascal Payette Pascal Payette has managed to escape from two maximum security prisons in France, each time using a hijacked helicopter. Using his aviation escape tool of choice, he also organized an escape of three other prisoners as well. His first escape took place in 2001 from a prison in Lunes, and his second escape attempt took place in 2007 in a prison in Grasse. He has since been recaptured, and because of his reputation, Payette switches prisons on a regular basis. Jack Shepard Jack Shepard essentially set the standard for prison escapes, even if he did live in the 18th century. He became a celebrity of his own right, and people would flock to the jails he was being held at just to watch him escape before running to the police. Shepard's antics included dressing up like a woman, breaking through ceilings and bars, invented the rope bedsheet trick, and picking through the locks of his chains with a bent nail. Alcatraz on June 11th and 12th, 1962, three inmates by the name of Clarence Anglin, John Anglin, and Frank Morris managed to create paper mache heads to tuck into their beds so they could trick the guards into thinking they were in their cells. They then used a utility corridor to make their way outside of the prison, where they then used an inflatable raft to make their way through the San Francisco Bay waters. The prisoners were never heard from nor seen again. Robert Dale Shepard in 1994, Robert Dale Shepard was being held at the South Central Regional Jail in South Charleston, West Virginia. He managed to braid a rope made from dental floss and climbed his way to freedom. The rope had the thickness of a telephone cord and helped him climb down the 18-foot cinder block walls and used a hacksaw to cut the fence. Shepard enjoyed 41 days of freedom, living mainly in the woods before he was recaptured at gunpoint. Alfred Wetzler Alfred Wessler was one of many unfortunate people who were imprisoned in Auschwitz, Nazi Germany. His claim to fame was being one of the four Jews who successfully escaped from the death camp. He accomplished this by hollowing out a wood pile and hiding out inside. Helpers then sprinkled the ground with tobacco soaked in gasoline so the dogs wouldn't be able to find him. After Wetzler and his friend hid out for several days, they escaped by wearing Dutch suits and overalls and headed to the Polish border using a child's atlas as their map. Dieter Dengler Dieter Dengler was a German-American Navy pilot during the Vietnam War. After his plane was shot down, he was put into a jungle prison camp called Pathet Lao. Unbeknownst to his captors, Dengler was trained in Germany on escaping from POW camps and managed to create a scale model of the camp with seven other prisoners, where they could coordinate locations of the guards around the clock. Dieter was one of the two prisoners who managed to escape before finally being rescued by the United States. El Chapo El Chapo is also known as Joaquin Arquivalo Guzman Larea, is a Mexican drug lord who heads the Mexican crime organization Sinaloa Cartel. He was being held in a maximum security prison until July 11th when he managed to escape under mysterious means. After he disappeared from surveillance for 18 minutes, guards arrived to find he wasn't in his cell. El Chapo was under 24-hour surveillance except for two blind spots in the toilet and the shower. He went into the shower fully clothed, but never came out. Right now, seven people are being questioned about their involvement in the incredible escape of El Chapo. David Sweat and Richard Matt. 
David Sweat and Richard Matt escaped from the Clinton Correctional Facility in New York on June 6, 2015. The two inmates were incarcerated for murder but lived in a privileged prison housing where they had access to a kitchen, TV, and more. They tunneled their way out using a hacksaw that was given to them by prison employees. Once escaped, there was an all-out manhunt for Sweat and Matt. On June 26th, Matt was shot and killed by Border Patrol employees in New York near the Canadian border, and Sweat was shot and captured, but he survived. Sweat was then transferred to a maximum security prison with all hands on deck monitoring him. We hope you found this video fascinating. Here are a couple other videos that you might like, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.